Hello, I am Jun Suk Bae at Wardo Spine Hospital, Chungdam, Seoul, Korea. Where is the thoracic locate and symptoms thoracic disc herniation? The spine runs from the neck to the waist, lower part of the shoulder and upper lumbar. It occupies the entire phloem. The thoracic spine is the space between the neck and the lower back. The reason why this part is important and meaningful is that think of your spine as an electric wire. So, all symptoms that occur in the thoracic spine overlap with those of the lumbar spine. Sometimes we misunderstood that symptom as a lumbar disc herniation or stenosis and trees so hard but no improvement. So it may reveal as they are thoracic disc, stenosis and ossification later. Another reason why thoracic disc is significant is that the nerves go down to the chest. Therefore, chest pain and stomach may occur. The cause was not revealed, we normally conduct internal checkup as we misunderstanding it is medical disease. But it turns out thoracic problems. So many patients do not have definite reason, especially various chronic pains that now occur below the neck. And various unresolved pains often originate in the thoracic spine. So, for thoracic spine disease, we should always be suspicious and exam first. Thoracic spine symptoms are divided into three main categories. The most common symptom is back pain, such as a herniated disc or herniated disc in the neck. Now, even when the pressure rises when we sit or exert force, back pain caused by a thoracic disc often occurs. If the pain does not get better even with physical therapy and the pain continues to recur even after taking injections or medications, this is the most common case of chronic back pain. In most cases, more than 70 to 80 percent of patients are caused by back pain. Another thing is radiating pain, pain that radiates to the side or chest. In the case of the lower thoracic vertebrae, abdominal pain may occur because they descend toward the abdomen. In some cases, since the origin of the nerve that starts from the thoracic vertebra and goes down to the lower back begins at the lower thoracic vertebrae, symptoms almost similar to those of the lumbar spine, especially when a disc or stenosis occurs in the T9. Therefore, Similar symptoms can begin in the thoracic vertebrae, such as a disc or stenosis between L4 to 5 or L1, like a tingling or numbness in the buttocks or the side of the leg. It is a symptom that the nerves of the lumbar spine go down because they start from the thoracic spine. In addition, the most annoying symptom is abdominal pain or now visceral organ pain because the sympathetic nerve in the thoracic spine is connected to the nerve going down to the abdomen. So it is sometimes stuffy in the chest. Digestion is poor, repeatedly feeling nauseous or stuffy even after eating. Or, there is some pain that extends to the neck or arm, but it is not a neck disc. In some cases, the pain in the abdomen is so severe and hard to sleep, thoracic disc symptoms is going down to lumbar. In the third case, the diagnosis is very difficult. In the other two cases, since the spine problem is suspected and examined, the cause is revealed as a symptom. But in case of abdominal pain, they overlap with internal and heart disease so that we easily miss the spine disease. Especially, upper thoracic like T1, T2 pain radiates to the arm a lot. This is because the nerves that go down to the arms are also accompanied by the thoracic T1 and 2. In this case, they mistakenly thought it was a cervical disc and did a disc examination, but if there is no disc in the neck, symptoms are often found in the thoracic spine. So, symptoms almost similar to cervical disc like shoulder pain, pain in the shoulder blade, numbness in the arm, and pulling symptoms occur from the upper thoracic vertebrae. In particular, in the case of the middle thoracic vertebrae, the back pain is very severe. When you try to lie down a straight in your back, pain gets worse. That pain due to middle thoracic disc symptoms. And this is because middle thoracic is directly contact with the heart. It is often misdiagnosed as heart disease. The pain of squeezing the heart does not go away and it repeats over and over again. Cardiac examination, ultrasound, and electrocardiogram are all normal.
Doctors should not think patient is a pretending illness, but suspicious about thoracic disc. Among our patients, who have been suffering from rhythmia or asthma for a long time after diagnosed and treated. But the pain does not go away. Patients are suffering at least four to five years or for more than 20 years often diagnosed with a thoracic disc belatedly. If you go down a little further, to the lower thoracic vertebrae, mainly the ninth and 10 are thoracic vertebrae. As I said before, this is the part where the nerves that go down from the lower back start. When the thoracic nerve is compressed in this area, symptoms almost similar to those of a herniated disc. Even if it is treated like spine injection, it does not get better easily. Because passage nerve compression and starting nerve compression is very different aspect of pressure on the nerve. In particular, when pressure is applied from a rather hard and narrow tube, such as a thoracic disc, the degree of pain is very unpleasant and very painful. And another symptom is leg weakness. When you can't run fast and stagger or leg pulling symptoms are repeated. That is similar to disc you must suspect the symptoms of the lower thoracic vertebrae. Today, I've talked about thoracic disc symptoms.